Ever scrolled through stunning designs on social media and wondered, how did they do that in Canva? Chances are they might be using a little-known trick called the clipping mask. On Digital Partypreneur, I'm pulling back the curtain on this incredibly versatile and often missed Canva feature. Join me as I walk you through exactly how to master the clipping mask and use it to craft a unique and beautiful teacher design. All right, so what we're going to do is come into Canva and use one of Canva's hidden features that's not talked about a lot. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a design for a sweatshirt or a t-shirt. So the first thing you want to do is click on create a design and then you want to pick the size you want. So we're going to do a custom size and just for the video purposes, we're going to do a 2000 by 2000 pixels. All right, so now we have our canvas all set and ready to go. Let me zoom out a little bit. All right, so the first thing we want to do is create our text. So let's say we're making a sweatshirt design for a teacher. So we're going to click on text, add text box. We're going to enlarge it. And we're going to type the word teacher. OK. And then I'm going to highlight it and I'm going to change the text. I want a thick, chunky, bold text. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use one that I like to use called College Combine Font. And I, I got this um, font off of Creative Fabrica. So I'm going to come in. I'm going to use that. And... What I want to do is I'm going to come up top. I'm going to click Effects. And I want to curve it. I'm going to come down to the bottom where it says Curve. I just want to curve it a little bit and see how these letters are overlapping each other. So the way I can fix that is I'm going to come up to the top. I'm going to click on Spacing. And I'm going to click on Letter Spacing. So I'm going to spread those out a little bit, but not too much. OK, so this is good. All right, so now what I'm going to do, before I get to the feature to help create this design, I'm going to take this and I'm going to click Share. I'm going to click Download. I'm going to click Transparent. I'm going to keep it on PNG, and I'm going to click Download, OK? Now, now that we have that downloaded, I'm going to click off of it because I no longer need it. And now we want to get the pattern. We want a certain pattern to be inside to replace that black text. So now we need to come over here. And we're going to click on elements and we're going to look for a pattern that we can use. OK, so I have one here that I already use, which is a floral pattern. But all you need to do is just type in search elements and click for the type of pattern you want, whether it's floral or polka dots, whatever it is you want. You want to put that in. So I'm going to go ahead and stretch this out to fit. Okay, that should be good. And then I'm going to come over to the side. I'm going to click on this button here that says apps. And then I'm going to come in the search bar and I'm going to type in clipping mask. This is the feature um that a lot of people don't talk about so it's going to be the first one that pop up here you'll see it with this little paint splatter we're going to click on that and then it's going to tell you graphic elements are not supported so when you're clicking when you're figuring out what pattern you want to use on your text or whatever you are whatever type of design you're using make sure that it's a photo and not a graphic element because sometimes it doesn't work with that. All right, so now we have our picture. Um, this box will be highlighted in purple. F is something that you can actually use the clipping mask feature on. So we're going to click Start Masking. And once you click Start Masking, all of these different shapes are going to pop up. So these are some things that you can use as well. But for this video, we want to click on Image because we want to 
bring back in that teacher image that we had already created and downloaded. We're going to click on choose. All right. And then our teacher file is going to pop up. So we want to make it a little bigger so we can see it. Okay. And you kind of place it where you want. And then we're going to click Add to Design. All right. And then we can delete out this background. And here we have our design. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this background so that you can see it better. So let's say we are putting this design on a black t-shirt or a black sweatshirt. Okay. So this is kind of help us visualize how it's going to look. So now I'm going to add some more text to this just to make it look a little bit more cute and appealing. So I'm going to come back over to my text box. I'm going to click on text. Add text box. And then I'm going to let's make this bigger so we can see it. All right. And then I'm going to type in the word life. And let's close that up, make it a little bit bigger. And I'm going to change the font. So I'm going to click up here, change the font. And you can play around with different fonts. I'm going to use this one. And then you can change the color to match. So if you wanted this pink color, or if you wanted it more of that cream color. Now, when you click over here on the side, the photo colors is gonna pop up. That's inside that pattern. So you can click any of these, or you can use all of them and create different designs up to you. I'm gonna click on this cream one. And I think this is set to go. All right. And then if you want to see how this would look on a design, all you have to do is we're going to add a page. All right. I'm going to delete out this black. I'm going to come over here to elements. And I'm going to type in black sweatshirt mockup. And all of these different mockups are going to pop up. I'm going to click See All. So here we have, let's say, this lady here is a teacher. And I want to see how this design is going to look. Make her a little bigger so we can see. OK. And then I'm going to come up here. I'm going to grab my design. So I'm just going to highlight it. I'm going to click group and then I'm going to click duplicate and I'm going to bring it down. Okay, and you just want to resize it to fit on her shirt so we can kind of see how this would look as a design and then tweak as needed. Okay, and I think that looks good just like that. Okay, um, so also if there's elements. I mean, if you want to add a bow or change anything or, you know, add different things to change up how it look, you know, feel free to do so. But I just wanted to really come in here and show you how to use this clipping mask feature that a lot of people don't talk about and you can create one of a kind designs. So I hope that this video was helpful.
And there you have it, partypreneurs. Who knew Canva was hiding such a powerful design secret like the clipping mask? Now you've got the skills to take your designs to the next level. If this video helped you unlock new creative possibilities, smash that like button, subscribe for more digital design hacks, and ring the notification bell so you don't miss out on our next deep dive. Let me know in the comments below. What amazing designs are you going to create with the clipping mask? Until next time, keep those digital parties popping.